Center is filled with capacity. The Eastern Conference semifinals continue here on 2K Sports. Game 2. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Great to have you with us. Taking a look at Toronto. A successful outing in Game 1 has them right where they want to be with a chance here, guys, to take Game 2 on their home court. And anytime you can go up 2-0 in a series, it's not a guarantee, but history tells us that you almost always win. So, a huge game here tonight. Well, I'll take it a step further and say whichever team wins this game will go on to win the series, Steve. It's a bold statement to make, but I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of bold statements. I do believe that. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the court for Indiana. Paul George is the three with David West at the four. The backcourt, Hill and Myers. And it's Mahini in at the five, roaming the paint. On defense, the Raptors. They come into the game following the win on Sunday. You know, they had a great start to that game. A couple guys got hot early, and it seemed to become contagious. Everybody started shooting the ball well at that point. You know, typically, if there's a hot shooter, the defense can make an adjustment and lean everything towards stopping him and let somebody else beat you. But that wasn't an option in that game. Hill, no good. Toronto's gone 1 2 from long range in the first quarter. Let's it go from deep. Yep, it's good. And another three from the kid. The kid's got six points. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. And it's Hill penetrating. West misses. Toronto, they've gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Here's the kid. Misses the three. For Indiana, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Outside, George. West setting the pick for Hill. Pick by West. Just five on the clock. Back to George. Wide open. No good. And Toronto will come the other way. Here's the kid. He has six. From 17 feet out, and he hits the bucket. The kid's got eight points. Really hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter, at least at the offensive end. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Here is Miles, guarded by Matt Lamore. Here's Mahimi. Boom, he jams it straight down. Absolutely, Clark. No one in his airspace on that dunk. Yeah, but come on, Kevin. The defense can't let that happen. <laughs> I hope they don't let it happen more. It's fun to watch that guy fly. <laughs> Just a gift. Two points they gave up. That's awful. Now George, after the miss three from the kid. Picked by West. George passes to West. And it's Rudy Gay with the rebound. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Here's the kid. Eight points for him. This one for three. And he gets it to go. The kid's got 11 points. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Hill kicks it to West. Here is Miles, guarded by McLemore. Miles dishes to Hill. Six to shoot. The shot by Mahini, no good. Hunter's leading by seven. Shoots it up. Again, Toronto. He's finding all kinds of ways to get it done. What a quarter he's had. The Pacers shooting well off their usual numbers, around 29% so far. Outside Hill. Left side West. That's blocked. 156 left here in the opening quarter. No good from the kid. Can't get a much better look than that, though. Sure can't. Not one you'd expect him to miss there. And he gets it to go. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they want on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. So both teams making some changes here. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. And you look at the kid leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. 
Well, with that last huddle, you could see the coach was addressing how they were going to make a tactical adjustment. And after the coach does something like that, it's on the players now to lock in and follow the lead and execute. If they don't, then the coach will put them on the pile. And so here is Indiana. The Raptors knocking down the tray. And George. Oh! oh ridiculous. What a move. Tore it down that time. <laughs> You know, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that dip. Oh, no. Bad time to slip up there, Kevin. They got to stay focused. Taking a technical foul here is the last thing you want to do. That was just flat out stupid. Indiana shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. They throw good. Paul George. We've got 108 left to play in the first. Hendricks passes to the kid. From beyond the arc, and the rebound goes to the Pacers. Now Watson. There's a screen. Just five on the clock. Shoots the three. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. the kid he's covered by Watson and again Toronto no up Pacers trail by four Cross with the steal here's the kid off target from outside and that one's good Hayes has got his first bucket of the night you know the height difference there is huge but he canceled it out with great body control in the air Exactly, Steve. He got to the hoop and wouldn't allow himself to be manhandled by the big boy. He's so reliable. And, and, you know, his offense seems to be consistent. It's the NBA playoffs. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action here in this game, too. And from what we've seen so far from the Raptors, guys, your thoughts? Boy, a ton of threes in that first quarter. This team really lighting it up, guys. Yeah, it's been an onslaught from downtown. On the court right now for the Pacers. Paul George is out there with Andrew Nicholson. Then it's Roy Hibbert. Then there's Gordon. And it's Watson in a point guard. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, over to you. Thanks, guys. The kid in their last game against the Pacers was just a man on a mission. He finished with 60 points, as he usually does, really knocking down shots from beyond the arc. Absolutely amazing numbers from him in what was truly a memorable performance for him and for us, Kevin. Great job, Doris. Thank you, guys. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can stay in a role like that tonight. I agree with you there. I mean, he obviously hit on something that brought out the best in him, and you can be sure he's going to take the exact same approach in this one. Definitely. And as confident a player as he already was, now he's got to be feeling absolutely unstoppable. Toronto shooting with confidence, 50% from the field so far. Offline with his three. Well, after knocking down three three-pointers last quarter, he's starting to lose the range a little bit. Bangs home the trifecta. The kid's got 18 points. Now yeah, let's see if that triggers another explosion from, remember, he hit three three-pointers in the first quarter. Passes it to Nicholson. Feeds it to George. And again, it's Indiana converting. And, fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. Raptors with the lead. Here's the kid. And the Raptors hit again from deep. This is an absolute monster performance from him. He is pulverizing them from the three-point line. And, George, here we go. Goes back up. And the layup is good. Hibbert's got his first basket giving them an opportunity at second chance points with some hard work on the glass there. 
Here's the kid. And again, Toronto with the triple. Well, as long as the Flees keep dropping for him, he'll continue firing away. And they are dropping for him. What a game he's having from deep. They set the screen. Outside, George jacks up a three. Offensive rebound. Here's Nicholson. No good with the layup. Raptors leading by five. And even three on three break. Here's the kid. Offline with his three. Ross kicks to Johnson. Trying to find Ross and gets it to him. That's in coming off an assist from Johnson. Ross has got five. Oh, man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. Watson with it. Kicks it to Hibbert, and that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. A super defensive play. I mean, if that pass gets through, it's probably two points. And he knew that. He knew if it gets through, it's a score. So that's why he sold out for it and got a hand on it. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Nageda has checked in for Hayes. Patterson comes in for Amir Johnson. Rudy Gay's checked in for James Johnson. And McLemore subbed in for Terrence Ross. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. An easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. No good from the kid. Pacers trail by five. Outside Hill. Outside Gordon. From 11 feet away. That doesn't go either for Gordon. That was not pretty there. You got to make that one, but that's not his range. Here's the kid. 24 points for him. McLemore, the pass to the kid. Shot is off. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. Shot by Gordon, wide open. That doesn't go either for Gordon. Raptors leading by five. Patterson dishes to Nogueira. There's the feed to McLemore. The pass to the kid. And it's sent back by Hill. Here is Mahini, guarded by McLemore. Here's West. Good, the assist goes to Hill. Hill's got three assists tonight. You know what? That's what you like to see. A perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Didn't even have to break stride. And the first half is now in the books. It's the... Welcome you back here to the broadcast of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Just a fantastic game for the kid. He's got 24 points. And talk about the three ball for him. Wow. Unbelievable from long distance. Yeah, you are right, Clark. I mean, it's been fireworks from deep. He's just so dangerous out there. The kid, he's in a point guard. Patrick Patterson is out there with Rudy Gay. Then it's no gate. And it's McLemore at the two. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. For Indiana, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. And he sinks the second. Toronto leading by 12. Here's the kid. Game with it. He's picked up by Hill. The kid from beyond the arc and then some. The kid's got 27 points. And it's the Pacers with the ball. Right side, George. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. 19 points in the game. He had a whole lot of space to get that shot off. Yeah, I don't think the defender did a good job there of getting over the top of the screen. Here's the kid, and the Raptors hit again from deep. He has really punished these defenders today. No matter who's been on it, he's been giving them medicine. Outside, George bears the pick. Pass to Mahimi. And George kicks to Miles. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Toronto's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Here's the kid. Bangs home the trifecta. The kid's got nine points in the quarter. Boy, they've come out of halftime just smoking hot from behind the arc. 
Hey, trust me on this one, partner. They are going to continue to let him fly. And that one's good. Well, this is great. Three-pointers going down quickly at both ends. Yeah, it took them no time to answer back on that possession. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Now, still a great start to the half after hitting their first three, even before that miss. Outside, George. The drive by Hill. Miles, the pass to Hill. West against Patterson. And it's West missing. Toronto leading by 16. A three ball. No good from the kid. Pacers have gone two of four here to start the second half. Right side Hill. And George, here we go. And he gets the bucket. George has got 21. Well, he's been a real positive factor for them today, although, you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. No good from the kid. You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. Yeah, not enough defensive coverage there to prevent him from firing that time, but uh, yeah, I think if he's open, he's got to let that thing fly. Here's George, and the Pacers tack on two more. You're going to be waiting a long time if you're waiting for him to miss that when he's that open. Some changes for Toronto. Chuck Hayes is checking in. Johnson comes in for Patrick Patterson. And Terrence Ross is subbed in for McLemore. The Pacers also changing it up. Roy Hibbert's checked in for Mahina. Nicholson comes in for David West. And it's Watson in for Hill. It's 12 straight points coming off three corners. Somebody do something defensively. Well, I, I agree with you. I mean, who's going to step up? They're rolling out there now, so you got to get in their chest, make them uncomfortable, and try to deny those looks. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. The Raptors shooting their first free throws of the game. That's good from the kid. Two shots. And so he makes both from the line. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. And here's Watson. Hibbert with a screen on game. George dishes to Watson. Nicholson in the post. He's guarded by Johnson. And Watson with the basket on the assist by Nicholson. Nicholson's got three assists now in this one. One fifty-seven left in the third quarter. Gay outside. Ross kicks to Gay. Shot clock at six. Paul George grabs the miss. George has got three rebounds so far in the game. He dishes it to Watson. To the paint, here's Nicholson. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And you can always depend on him to put the pass right on the money. Raptors leading by 12. There's 117 left to play here in the third. There's the triple. Kept alive. Here's Johnson. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The Raptors have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And Toronto making a change here. Amir Johnson. And he's good on the second. And it's the Pacers with the ball. Now Watson. Six points for him. There's 57 seconds left to play in the third. Nicholson's shot is off. In Toronto, they've gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. Ross passes to the kid. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. The kid's got 40 points. Well, that's kind of been the story here today, hasn't it, Clark? Watson with it. 34 seconds left in the third quarter. He feeds it to Nicholson. Wants to get it to Watson and does. The dish to Hibbert. Clock at four. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. 
got him good there. This is his first trip to the line tonight. First one falls for him. Patterson, he's checked in for Johnson. And Hibbert hits them both. Raptors leading by 13. There's the three. And he hits the triple. Three points there on the shot from the kid. The kid's got 43 points. For Indiana, they've gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. And Miles kicks to George. Dishes it to Miles. Here is Watson. And the layup falls. Watson's got his third basket of the night. Well, he's really stood out for his club today. Even though they're struggling a little bit, he's doing his part. to the broadcast of the Eastern Conference semifinals. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Well, this is what you talk about when you have the offensive play coming together based on tremendous passing. It's the rhythm and flow that occurs and makes this a beautiful game. And so in the game for the Pacers, Paul George is the three with David West at the four. Hill is out there with Watson, and it's Mahimi in at the center. Pass to West. The hook. Toronto grabs the miss. Patterson's got four rebounds now tonight. You know, they're not totally dominating the glass, but they're definitely doing enough to keep this lead right where it is. Well, if you're doing enough good things and you're maintaining uh, at least a, a slight edge on the boards, you're usually going to be in pretty good shape. Hill kicks it to West. To the inside. Boss with the steal. Last break. Here come the Raptors. And it's Patterson finishing it off. And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in getting in his way. That's one where you just give up the two points and move on. It's George on the wing. Hill dishes to West. Ross with the steal. Here's the kid, tended by West. That's a guy in the bucket from the kid. The kid's got 45 points. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Toronto. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And they're also really getting out in transition and scoring some in the fast break tonight. The Raptors making a switch here. Gaze checked in. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. I was able to listen in on what Frank Vogel had to say to his team. He touched on his desire to see them make heavy use of the pick and roll for the rest of the game. Keep setting those screens, fellas. Those were his exact words. He also wants his players putting pressure on the defense with early offense, lots of shots, and an aggressive approach in general whenever they've got the ball. A few late-on-the-fly adjustments as the situation gets more desperate for them. It's going to be a tough hill to climb, guys. Thanks again, Doris. Here's the kid. He's guarded by Hill. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The first one falls. And much more aggressive play has led to more free throw attempts for him in the second half. You know, that's how you do it, Steve. I mean, defender pressing up on you, you press right back, get into him. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. From deep, George. That doesn't go either for George. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the defense has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull that trigger. You've got to be in his face and not give him any space. And you can see they recognize that, Clark. I mean, they are not going to give him that look. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. To the middle. Here's Mahimi. The shot's good on the assist by George. That time the defenders were a little lazy getting to him. Here's Toronto now. They're on a 13 to 4 run right now. The shot's good from the kid. This guy's putting on a clinic out there. Everything is sound and sharp and crisp. He's really the centerpiece of their offense. Hill passes to George. They set the pick. Down low. The kick out to Hill from downtown, and he gets it to go. How about that for a response? 
They will say they can give the three as well as they can take the three. Toronto leading by 23. Here's the kid. Pacers with the rebound. Mahimi's got six rebounds in the game. And George kicks to Watson. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Passes to West. Sweet move. He takes it up and lays it in. Well done finishing that one off. The Pacers making a switch here. Miles is checked in. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Here's the kid. Offensive rebound. Three-pointer. There's the bucket. Good. The kid's got 55. Wow. What can you say? Pacers have gone four of seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Here's Miles. Good. The assist goes to Hill. Hill's got four assists in the game. And that assist earned him a little nod from his teammate after the basket. Here's the kid. McLemore, the pass to the kid. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Shooting for Toronto. That free throw good from the kid. Both teams deciding to change it up. Both free throws good from the kid. 139 left in the fourth quarter. And here's Watson. He kicks it to Gordon. Puts it up. And again, it's Indiana. And so, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans starting to head for the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for the Raptors. Agreed, Steve. And as one-sided as it gets today, you know, Clark, there were... Uh, some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. You're right, Kevin. It's hard to think of anything that didn't go right for them. I mean, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was spot on. You look at the stats and you'll see just how dominant a game this was for the kid. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do anything, really, but to stop it. And he gets it to go. He's just been the man since the start of this quarter. I mean, just a tremendous period of basketball for him. Now Watson feeds it to Gordon. That's good, and the assist goes to Watson. Boy, if they could have had this kind of run earlier in the game, it might have made a big difference as much by the defense now that the game's all but finished. Here's the kid. He's covered by Watson, and he gets it to go. 64 points for the kid. A serious game-clinching run. They taken off here. Impressive. No backing off. What a surge at the right time. Gordon kicks to Miles. Back to Gordon. Three-pointer. That doesn't go either for Gordon. Toronto's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. There's the pick. Watson dishes to Gordon from outside the arc. No luck. Boy, and that is a bunch of rebounds for a player who's not the biggest guy out there. 